Okay, it seems like we uh, lost our fee there. Just reminded the bail application of uh, two men accused of murder of seven family members in Flagfontein, south of Johannesburg. Uh, that was the Protea Magistrates Court in Soweto. The matter has been transferred to the main court uh, following the repeat non availability uh, of the Lanasia Court due to power outages. We'll try to get back there as soon as we can. <laughs> Yeah, this is an application by the defense for applicant number two that the state be ordered to furnish applicant number two with further particulars. I can see from the record that uh, the document relating to further particulars was furnished to the state on the 15th of November 2018. There is a letter in reply there to by the senior public prosecutor dated the 19th of November 2018, wherein she declines to furnish any information contained in the docket. In the alternative, the defense for applicant number two states that should the request be denied, we therefore request a summary of evidence as contained in the police docket.
But the state is opposing this application. The prosecutor, the prosecutor argued to that um, the investigating officer is going to be called to come and testify here in court. He argues further that the evidence of the investigating officer is going to constitute a summary of the evidence as contained in the police document. The ruling of the court at this stage is that application by the defense for applicant number two at this stage is dismissed. The prosecutor has already responded in a letter that he declines to finish such part, uh, further particulars. What is that? Is it a postponement? Yes, it is a postponement. Oh, okay. Okay, matter shall stand up for the word. Yes, it is a postponement. Get the phone and tell them. Come on, come on. Okay, that will be it. Okay. Okay, it was uh, pretty difficult to hear what actually happened. I understand that from what I heard that the matter has been standing down. Well, it's, it's being stand down. Uh, we're going to try and hook up with uh, Gillian Pillay to get more clarification on that. Just to remind you that Ernest Mabaso and Peter Kupe faced seven counts of murder uh, after the bodies of the three women and four children were found buried in a heap of sand in their home last month. So we're going to try and establish a connection with Gillian Pillay to find out what exactly happened there. We do apologize for the poor audio there. Okay, let's move on. 